Oh yeah, I just finished installing Shopify. Now let's get some sales and make some money. Wait, before you can make any sales, you must choose a theme. Okay. Caution. Choosing the correct Shopify theme can make or break the fate of your online store. I understand. A theme wields the power to either propel you to dazzling heights or, or condemn, condemn you to the depths of obscurity. I understand. Now, choose your theme. <laughs> 3,784 themes available. Pros themes. I don't know. I don't know what to choose. There's so many of them. So expensive, so cheap. Help me, Eco Bull. Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here. Choosing a theme for your Shopify store is one of the most important decisions that you will have to make. The theme that you choose sets the visual tone and layout of your store, impacting the overall user experience. A well-designed and visually appealing theme can create a positive first impression, instill trust in your customers and enhance your brand's credibility. But with so many options on so many price points, it might be a little hard to decide which one to go for. So in this video we're going to explore the different theme options that you have, the features that you need for your store, and important considerations that you must have when choosing a theme. So let's get started in 3, 2, 1! All right, so in terms of pricing, you have free themes, premium themes, and third-party themes. Let's start with the pros and cons of the free themes. So to access the official free themes, you go to your Shopify backend, click on online store, and then click on themes. Then navigate to where it says add theme, and click on visit the theme store. Then click on all themes, and then filter by free. And you have 12 themes to choose from. It's not that many, but hey, it's free. One of the most popular free themes is the down theme, and that's because it's very easy to customize and it's good for small stores or big stores with a huge catalog. One of the coolest features that this theme has is the lookbook, where you can display your products in a really fashionable way. If you like the theme and you want to try it out, you just click over here where it says try theme and it will automatically add it to your store. And don't worry, it won't overwrite the theme that you currently have. So you can test as many themes as you like. So just click on here and click on preview. Let's see how this theme will look with my products. All right, well, that's how it looks. And if you want to customize the theme, you just click on customize. And to customize it, you just click on the section that you want to customize. For example, let's customize this banner. Let's select an image. Let's just put something like this and then let's select another secondary image. Let's choose, I don't know, this. This is just for showing. All right, so now the banner has these two images there. And that's how you customize the theme, okay? You select the section that you want to configure and you have the options to make your changes on the right side. Now, if you're making a one product page, you can go for the sense theme. And this one works great if you don't have a big catalog, if it's just one product. So the pros of the free themes is that they are free and they are very easy to customize. But the cons is that they lack a lot of features like custom pop-ups or announcement bars. But you can add these features through apps. But of course, if you start adding apps, some of them are paid and then you're gonna start spending money every month and the free theme is no longer that free. But the biggest problem that I have with free themes is that everybody uses them. So all the websites look the same. And yes, you can customize the colors, the fonts, the images, but in the end, they all follow the same format and it's very easy to recognize that this website is using the same template as this other one. But what about premium themes? Less people use them and also you have a lot more options to customize it, plus many more features. But the prices are ridiculous. Look at this, 380, that's a new high. It keeps going up and up every time. I remember a couple years ago, I bought a premium theme. It was the Streamline theme and it cost me $150. And right now, this theme costs 350. So they raised the prices. And this was the highest price that I've seen. But now while I'm making this video, I see that there are options for $380. 
soon this is gonna be half a grand for a theme. So yeah, these themes are pretty easy to customize, they have great features, but man, the prices are ridiculous. So the biggest con that I see with premium themes is the price. And also, they lack some features that third-party themes have. So now let's talk about third-party themes, because not many people know about this. And these are basically premium themes, but you get them outside of the Shopify theme store. And by the way, if you don't have Shopify yet, or if you're making a new store, check out the link that I have on the description, where it will give you a free trial and also a few months for only $1 per month. To get third-party themes, you can go to websites like ThemeForest, then navigate to Web, Themes and Templates, and then choose Shopify. And there's over 1700 different themes that you can choose from. And the prices, look at this, they are a lot cheaper. $50, $23. Let's see, for example, this theme that costs $29, Mate. Let's click on Live Preview so we can check it out. Let's click on View Demos. Let's see, let's, I don't know, maybe let's check out this demo just to see some of the features that it has. All right, so it has a banner with some animated buttons. The banner also changes. These images are floating images that move. Also, it has these nice hover effects. That's cool. All right, what else? All right, the categories, nice. All right, you can filter in page. That's pretty cool. All right, so you see, it has a lot of features. Now, also, let's check out the menu. Okay, it has mega menu, all right? This is pretty cool because you can have images, you know, on the menu. If you have a store with a lot of products, you can display them that way, and it looks pretty cool. So as you can see, it has a lot of features. More features than the premium themes that they charge $350 on the Shopify theme store. But still, you have to pay $29 for this theme and it's only one theme. Now I'm gonna show you another option to get third-party themes and this is my favorite is the one that I use and it is by going to Envato Elements because they have a bunch of themes. You see here Shopify themes they have over 600 themes that you can choose from and the cool thing is that this is a subscription website so you can click here on get unlimited downloads and once you sign up you can download as many themes as you like and they also have graphics and you know photos fonts that you can download so they have a lot of resources and something very important is that if you get the subscription and you download 200 themes and then you unsubscribe so you only pay one month or two months or whatever time you had it for then all the themes that you downloaded, they are yours to keep forever, okay? You have lifetime license for all the downloads that you assign to a project. And to assign something to a project, you just click here on download and you just put my website. That's it, create project my website, add and download. That's it, you have the license to use it. So let's choose for example a theme, I don't know, this one, Sofin. Let's click on live preview just to check it out. Let's click on one of the demo stores. And boom, right off the bat, we have a nice pop-up. That's a welcome pop-up feature. Okay, that's pretty nice. Let's see what else we have. We have a cool banner. All right, that's pretty cool. A product catalog carousel. All right, that's good. The products with very nice animations and also you can add to compare. You got a timer feature and also a magazine style lookbook. All right, yeah, so you see a lot of features. Let me see if this has a mega menu. Yes, it does. And with really cool special effects. All right, that's really cool. And you have all of the other options. Let's choose another option here, home three. Let's see how that looks, all right. This one is a little bit different layout, but you see, they give you a few samples of options that you can customize your theme to look like. Like this one, it has the product categories in a nice circle shape, so that's pretty cool. I will leave the links to these third-party websites in the description of the video. Check them out because they have special discounts. Now, the cons of these third-party themes 
is that it's not as easy to install as the other themes. But I'm gonna show you how to install them. All right, so you choose the theme that you want, you download it, you assign it to a project, and it will download a zip file, all right? This is the file that is just downloaded. So fine, clean, versatile, responsive Shopify. So what you have to do is unzip this original file, right? So you're gonna right click and extract all. And this is the unzipped version of the file. So when you open it, you're gonna have to, some things are a little bit different, you have to navigate it, but there's gonna be another zip file inside of the zip file that you just unzipped, okay? And it's this one. Now you're gonna go to your Shopify backend, okay? And you're gonna click on add theme and click on upload zip file. Now you're gonna come back here and drag the zip file inside and click on upload file. Now you're gonna give it a second so it installs and it should be ready to go. Now if you get an error message saying, oh, the zip file is not valid or it's too big or something like that, it's because you're not uploading the correct zip file. Remember, when you download it, it's gonna have a zip file that is gonna have documentation and other things and then the actual theme zip file. That is the one that you drag in here. All right, it just finished adding it. So now we can just go ahead and preview to see how it looks. All right, we got the pop-up. Okay, of course there's no content, all right? But yeah, see, here's the theme. And of course, if you want to customize it, you just click on customize and you will be able to edit everything just like you do with the free official themes and also the premium themes from the Shopify store. Options on the left and you can make the edits on the right side. I hope that I was able to give you a little bit of clarity on the options that you have when it comes to free, premium, and third-party themes. Now, if you want to learn how to edit these themes, how to customize them completely, I have a video right here where I show you how I download one of these third-party themes and recreate the Tesla website, and I go through all of the customizations. So check it out if you're interested. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I'm out.